The beauty of this little stone house renovation project is that it is allowing us to really tap into our imaginations. When it's your own build and when you're the master of its destiny, you can let creativity guide your choices entirely. And another one? Sometimes that leads us down paths of monumental change. And sometimes there are mistakes and lessons to be learned. So whatever you do, don't sand them. But all in the name of beauty and style. That's going to be cool, isn't it? And on days like today, it means that we slow down and spend some time doing a little thing that adds huge character, that makes us smile, and that we'll look back at in years to come and reminisce on how we got here. So I've got more exciting things to do today than this, but what I want to do first is test, test the part here. I basically, Carlos has done such a good, good job in cleaning off the tiles. There's not much work to do in here, but before we seal them properly, properly, and we've got a nice oil for that now, um, I just want to try and clean them up a little bit and make them a bit more, more even in colour. This corner here, and actually this entire back wall eventually will just be a kitchen. So there'll be kitchen cabinets coming up here. We're not going to see this. Um, so before I do the rest of the floor, um, I'm going to just do a tester down here um, and see whether we can even out or get rid of some of these gnarlier looking bits on the tiles around here and here. Um, and yeah, and if it works, then we'll of course we'll do the whole floor. To put it on and then just wait. Yeah, so I did a fair amount of research on prepping um, terracotta tiles. Uh, and the research that I came up with was you know, whatever you do, don't sand them. Sanding terracotta tiles basically takes away all of the hard bit at the top, the burnt bit. <clears throat> and makes them very vulnerable, so we don't want to do that, of course. Anyway. Right, well, that's going. I think I get a second bucket with clean water in it. I'm going to go and get some decent gloves as well. These are pretty rubbish. I thought they'd do the trick, but actually. Oh, they're just breaking. Who's been watching Clarkson's farm? <laughs> he had problems with these, didn't he? Right, just going to give this another quick scrub. Feel like they're going to be really nice, actually. You know, I really want to get it moving along. Just waiting for product basically to turn up. <laughs> what do we think, folks? They look pretty clean, don't they? Alright, we'll come back a bit later. 
Let's see how that is. Surfshark is a VPN, which means virtual space. Fine, you have it then. Shark, as John said, is a VPN, which stands for virtual private network. I knew that. It's basically like a mask that protects all of your information and your data when you're on the internet from getting into the wrong hands and being able to be accessed by people who want to do nefarious things with it. Think of hackers, scammers, people trying to get hold of your bank details. If you've got Surfshark switched on, they can get hold of absolutely nothing. But it's not all serious and scammy and scary. Surfshark also allows you to change the location of your IP address. And what that means is that you can basically be virtually anywhere on the planet at the click of a button. So if you've been watching Ted Lasso, rock and roll, we get it in Portugal too. So you can get access to your favourite TV shows or you could move your IP address to Canada, which has the largest Netflix library on the planet. The best part about it is it's super simple. It's just an app that you download to your tablet, your phone, or onto your computer, and you can have unlimited devices off one subscription, which is our favorite part about Truly, it. Truly, the only way that Surfshark could get any better is if they renamed it to Surf Flower. Wow. I like flowers. Anyway, enough nonsense. The important thing is that you guys click on the link in our description below. And if you use our special code and click on our special link down below, you will get up to four months free. That's on top of an already exceptional value subscription, which costs you about the same as a coffee every month. That's quite literally one of the cheapest insurance policies in the world. So no excuses. I'm going to give the shark back to the boys, because <laughs> unlike Surf Shark, he's been misbehaving a wee bit. I'm going to save the, save the dog from the trampoline. Yes, that is the dog of the trampoline. Today's actual real job is windows. Let's go and have a look. Okay. No idea how they've put this together, so it's going to be pretty interesting taking it to pieces. These boxes. They were here when we first arrived, so I think Tara's probably going to want to save those. So at the top of the stairs, this is the window that we've got. It's not done very well with the bugs. So I got a couple of quotes for windows. When we're finished, we do want the costs to be reasonable. We don't want them to be ridiculous. So building our own windows is part of that experience. It's part of what we are expecting the price. It's part of keeping the price point as low as possible. So I went out to Maxman yesterday, I bought a few pieces of wood, um, and I've also gone to a glass manufacturer to get panels of double glazing glass put together. They're clear, and they're gonna let a whole bunch more light in. And I think that those windows, instead of costing, which we've been quoted for, um, five, 600 euros per piece, I think we're probably looking at around about 60 to 70 euros per piece. I'm not sure how we're going to get this on. Going to have to cut it. Okay, hello, my darling. Hello, my love. Do you want to go and push that window from the outside to see whether we can push, push it through? The outside. Push it from the top. No, no, glass. Is it also? I can feel it moving, okay. Do you want to come on the inside so it doesn't drop? You're all going to need to pop down the other side. I don't think okay. the glass is going to smash. It's, uh, we're probably just easing it out now. Okay. Yay! Yeah, it looks it, it's gonna be a lot lighter in there, isn't it? So much nicer. And we're gonna have that I've, I've got that Moroccan light ready yes, to go. To see it through there. It's gonna shoot fire across the well, not fire. And it's nice to be able to see it down here through to the stones and the yeah,
Okay, I just do you want to go and grab the glass and we can put it in before yeah, literally cool. all I've got to do. Yeah, it's on the side of the car. Okay. Okay. Like. Good. Cool. Off you go. <clears throat> now, darling, if it doesn't fit, mm -hmm. who measured it? how you make a 50 euro window. <laughs> I love it. As easy as that. Can't see you from out here. Um, let me come inside. Yep. Wow. The difference is quite something. Look at that. I'm just take the tip of the table. Yeah, that's so much cooler, so isn't it? So much cooler. I love it. Wow. Like, yeah. I mean, wow, it's like there was a new window there. Yeah. Um, are you going to put bars on it? Yeah, I will put a couple of bars and then Why? I think... Why? Can't we leave it plain? We can. I think though, though on the outside, I just want to put one bar across here about that level. Okay. So that if the boys sort of run towards it, they don't just fly into a window. Okay. You know, just a piece of wood across. Okay. Why does it look funny? No, I don't think so. I think it's okay. fairly common to see stuff like that. How much space have we got at the top of that window? Okay. So now what you do, you just put One it in it. Well, you put the frame the on the inside. Okay. Another frame on the inside. And that's it? And that's it, yeah. And silicone. stick it in place. Oh, and silicone, okay. Another frame in place. Uh, another frame on the inside with some silicone. That, I mean, <clears> to be able to see those, like, outside this window, we've got the most beautiful cork oaks. That, like, you know, that one that twists its way over. Yeah. And to be able to come up and see that from the stairs, it's like it's framing the cork oak. Beautiful. That's amazing. That was definitely the right call. We've siliconed that in quite nicely. Um, it's ready to go. There's one thing I want to do um, before we call it with this window, and that's put a bar here just across something from here um you know really simple nothing too mega just so that if the boys are running around you know they hit they hit a piece of wood before they hit the before they hit the um the window and i think we can actually do something pretty interesting with that so let's uh let's see maybe there's something i can use hmm. This came from the tiny house. It was the windows of the tiny house. Before we dive into this next bit, let's rewind. When we arrived on this farm, we were the unsuspecting owners of a whole lot of stuff oh, wow. that we hadn't expected. And although it was a monumental task to sift through it and get rid of so much of it, it also provided us with loads of treasures that we found new lives for. The keep piles definitely a hell of a lot smaller than the ditch pile. Yeah. It began with a wine press that we turned into a table. an old olive oil container that we fashioned into what a lamp. about? Mm. Let's go put it in location. Um, a glass lampshade there. that now lights our way to the tiny Isn't house. It amazing? And wine bottles that became bedside lamps. These window frames were from an old damp storeroom which is now our tiny house and home office. When we removed them, so many of you commented to say please find a home for them. And since then, they've adorned our temporary boot room extension. And today, perhaps they'll finally be finding their forever home. If you've been here for all of it, please say hi in the comments. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. I think we can do something with that. Darling, I love it. That 
I was just thinking I was going to hang them on this side wall here um, because I wanted to break the whiteness of that wall, but it's perfect. I love it. That's to stop you boys running through the window. Don't touch See it. See the new window, Crusoe? Let me put more glue on this. <laughs> Not just yet. So we have another one of those. We it's do. It's attached to a piece of concrete from the tiny house. It and is. if you don't know where these came from, have you already explained? Yeah, the tiny house. Yeah. They yeah. were in the wood of the tiny house. Anyway, um, the second one, what do you think if it goes on the um, that window, but portrait way around? Okay. Rather than landscape, like yeah. that. Yeah. And then both the windows have new, like, bars, but they're not yeah. bars, isn't it? Yeah. Darling, I love it. Okay, well, so this is going to need some bashing around, a little bit of work doing to it. Um, wooden frame on it but leave it with me um, and I'll give it to you you can paint it a little bit later today cool cool you're amazing yeah why is it like this big why is what big this. well you've got to get a roof on it haven't we and why is this clear up maybe put it here put it here right where are you going to sail to in your boat boys Just leave it out of the puddle. Just put it in the puddle and it'll disintegrate. There you go, children entertain for the afternoon. There's some crayons. <laughs> Alright, let me go and start off with this. I'm interested to see how this is going to work out. Look at that mess. If I told you we can just run away, so come, my darling, let me help you. We can follow the sun leave the rain for somebody else that help ourselves leave our trouble on the shelf and don't you worry we're gonna find five centimeters there difference so the gap is five centimeters i'm going to need two and a half centimeters each side across the top and across the bottom all the sidewalks and the highways they will turn into dust it's mother nature the wooden frame of course goes all the way around the outside of it Yeah. You're usually 100% right on these things, sorry, but I think it would look lovely if it was just floating. <coughs> it looks a lot more elegant. Okay, I've got to go and find something else then. Pipe. I need pipe. Okay. Metal pipe. You know, one thing is for sure, um, Tara is going to know how to create a challenge, um, almost certainly. So, challenge accepted is what they say. It's going to be the right height right there. This is going to be really challenging, folks. Really, really challenging. But the reason why it's going to be challenging is how on earth are we going to get a screw in there? Of course, it would have been super simple before I put the window in. That might be a game changer. I really love that we found a home for those bars because they have just been kind of lying around. And when we took them out of the tiny house, you guys were all like, please make sure you recycle those. Um, and you were quite right because they're beautiful. They're just, and they, you know, they're a part of this property's history. So I love that when we find these kind of places for the old bits and bobs that we inherited, when we find them new homes. I have been looking for the second one and I can't find it. It's, uh, it's around somewhere. I think it is. Yeah. We didn't lob it into the back of a truck at some point. I hope not. I think it was down here by the tiny house. Let's go and have a look and see um, if... It's still down here somewhere. I found it. I knew we hadn't lobbed it away because we have been looking after these, knowing that they would be used at some point. But there it is. It does need to be cut off of that piece of concrete. Um, so this one looks a bit more hardcore though. I think we need a bit more of like a that, 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 that to get that out rather than the angle grinder that John's using, but obviously he would know more. But anyway, we found it. That's good news. And then that can go in the other window. And everything finds a home. <laughs> From this window 
to that window. Oh, by the way, we think our chicks have fledged. Well, there's nothing in there now. Um, this is obviously the window in front of the desk in the tiny house, which is where we do all of our editing and all of our work. Um, and we so loved sitting there watching those little um, great tits going in and out, in and out, and we could hear the little chicks um, in, the, in the nesting box. And we had another pair nesting in the other nesting box, which we've got just above the lawn. And it was amazing. And the one day I went in and did some work and I looked and looked and looked. I didn't see the birds going in and out and I got really worried. The next day I went and sat again and I was like, oh gosh, I think they're gone. They're really gone. Anyway, I thought, coming from Africa, I'm always like, oh, a snake's got them or something's happened and they've been eaten. But John was like, no, I reckon they fledged. They're off. So we are keeping an eye out to see if another set comes. Um, because I think those little guys can have two or three batches of chicks in a year. Um, so... Fingers crossed, we have another lot. I'm still desperately hoping they take home, make home in our um, bird fee nesting box, which has got the fancy cameras, because it would be epic to watch them. And um, so hopefully one of them takes a fancy to that. But anyway, just such a joy to have things kind of nesting and thriving on our property. Makes me really happy. And I hope those little chicks live long, happy lives. No, it's not working. Okay. The grinder disc I've got for this pipe is just too hectic. Right. So it's really just smashing it up. So I go have a look if I've got a hacksaw. This pipe here, um, I'm fairly confident, is a piece of pipe that Crusoe used to take out of one of the deck chairs. Some lots of you will no doubt remember when John's mum was here last. She sat down in said jet chair without said pipe and fell through it. for a little bit. <laughs> she did. <laughs> no chance of that this year, Granny. John chopped it up, put it on the window. <laughs> with those holes because they're breeze block holes okay i've been fiddling around <clears throat> i've done two things there i've um taken out the old um plastic uh wall plugs and then i've put new plastic wall plugs in these screws here they've got a shorter blank space at the top of them and more thread so that means that they'll they'll get the the, the wall plug going quicker um, I think that should really, yeah, it should solve the problem. So we'll try again. You smashed the window, John. In trying to protect the window, John smashed the window.
Just in time, darling. Hello. Last screw. Ooh, That's I do know when to time my visits, don't I? Yeah. Would you like me to do it and take all the credit? Yeah, why not? <laughs> It's often these little finishing touches, though, isn't it? That kind of bring it to life. And would you look at that? Sunshine. There I know your beer's getting warm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't open it. There you go. Done. Yay! Oh, it looks in. so cool. Nice and yeah, solid. I love it. The it's boys perfect. aren't going to run through that glass wall, yeah. are they? No, it's absolutely perfect. Do you know what happened when you went away earlier? Sawyer picked up this piece of wood and started walking immediately towards the window. Really? I was like, oh, okay. gosh. Yeah, there we to go. Come. Hello, Happy everyone. Yeah, that's fab. Really pretty. Yeah. Cute. All right then. Is that it for today? Mm. It might be. Let's have a look. Do you know, I'm, I'm excited to start painting as well. I know, that's going to make a big difference, isn't it? And, yeah. And some cream around the cement and just make it Jazz it all up bit. again. That'll oh. be a day for a, a job for a sunny day. Which we've got plenty of coming tomorrow. You know, you say, let's paint this. I quite like it like There's, that. There is this feeling that we should just let it maybe go a bit rusty. Yeah. Um, but I let's like see, I mean, it, it can come off if, yeah. we just, if we change our mind. Yeah. It can come off, but there's something very rustic about that. Actually, mm. when we've painted everything bright white again, we might look at it and go, that looks that a bit looks nice. It looks um, really nice right now. Though. I like the kind of, like you say, rustic, slightly paint peeled. Yeah. There you go. Cool. So That's next job is to cut the other one off the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> Not today, Pig. Not today.